privacy is a huge issue for the mobile industry, actually for all of technology, because it has a direct correlation to consumer confidence. And to the extent that people are worried about negative consequences of using any technology, the adoption rates are going to be less. And in fact, the technology might never really be taken up. The 2011 MEF consumer survey showed that at least in the U.S. market, um, there's a lack of trust in some of the services, and that's one of the barriers that's preventing more rapid in, uh, adoption of e-commerce. The technology is shifting so quickly that people aren't even certain how the different companies are using their information or what they're even doing with it. And until people reach a certain comfort level, and until, frankly, they understand the consequences of what will happen when a breach occurs, then they're going to have this certain level of, of distrust. I think that we're really struggling with the underlying idea of whether these services are a great benefit to society. In other words, location-based, the, the, the special aspects of mobile services, whether we embrace them as a good for society that needs to be managed to prevent harm, or whether they are an, an, an evil, a harm that allows governments and companies to spy on you and to look on you. And I think we're very schizophrenic about that right now. And that mostly arises from a, a lack of confidence or knowledge about the technology. I think the providers need to work not only within their own companies to ensure that they focus on consumers' needs and, and essentially do the right thing. And it's not about the regulations. You're not doing the right thing for the purpose of complying with the regulations, but doing the right thing because it's going to make um, e-commerce better for everyone. But you can't control it yourself. So even if you're doing everything exactly right, behavior in other parts of the industry or other sectors or other partners can actually damage you know, people's uptake of your service. So I think that it's important to work through organizations like MEF and with regulators as necessary to educate people and to get people working together because any failure by any part of the chain hurts us all. Well, I think that MEF and the attendees of the, of the conference can sort of f focus on reaching an understanding and an education level about what practices are default accepted and which ones you know, maybe can be opted into, but that aren't considered to be standard. And I think that once as an industry and a society we coalesce around this idea, all of the questions about notices or opt-in or opt-out will sort of resolve themselves. And that's sort of related also to the issue of how good are these services and, 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 and how not, because like uh, take cigarettes, right? It's very clear that there's a choice that cigarettes are bad for you, so your notices are designed to get you not to use the services. And I personally would hate to see us get so concerned about privacy that we discourage people from using technology. Reaching practices where you communicate with consumers in a genuine way about what you're doing and how you use their data, not really relying on complex legalistic you know, notices privacy notices and saying, there, you read it, you're good, but really engaging and serving consumers' needs and then reacting appropriately if and when there is a breach. And I think that the combination of working to solve your consumers' needs and consumers becoming comfortable, frankly, just over time and, and starting to trust, everyone in this chain needs to work together because while you may not get blamed yourself, for example, the carrier might get blamed if there's a breach for something that they didn't do themselves. Everyone will be hurt because if people stop adopting, then the content provider that wasn't behaving in a proper way or the advertiser that was doing something that, although the technology enables it and might give good benefits, if, it, if they're before or if they're outside the boundaries of what society considers to be acceptable, it can damage the ecosystem for everyone. It really, education can't come from a single channel. So it has to come from a number of sources. It can come from um, organizations. It can come from regulators. But, and it, but it doesn't always have to be the big, grand education scheme or plan. It doesn't have to be a public announcement. It can be in the little ways that you interact with your consumers on a daily basis that lets them understand that you're not going to abuse the relationship that you've fought so hard to gain.